Hi everyone, this is your teacher Alihem from Venezuela uh, through Go Talk To, this website. And it's a pleasure for me to be here in front of you teaching this part of Spanish, my native language. Okay, in this video, I would like to share with you some uh, meaning of some Spanish uh, words. And um, as you know, our language has two different meaning, meanings and um, maybe through context, the context is very important for um, what we want to say, we imply to say and uh, it may be a spelling, the written form of the, of the words in Spanish is very, very uh, important. And some accents, okay? Some accents is very, very uh, remarkable to um, maybe distinguish the different meanings in the words. Okay, the, I, I'm going to talk about two um, great groups of works. The, the first is the homographic works. Okay, that, um, those words are that sound alike. They sound alike, but their meaning will rely on their context. Okay, so sound alike and they are written in the same way the, the same form okay there's no distinction in the in the way we write the, the word the first is the spanish word amo amo we have two meanings the first is like a owner of a pet in spanish it would be the este perrito solo obedece a su amo. In English would be this little dog only obeys his master. Okay, so we have owner or master for the signing amo in Spanish. And the other the other meaning that we will rely on the context is the related to the first person of the verb love, the verb to love. For example, in Spanish, we have amo mi trabajo. In English, I love my job. I love my job. So we have Verb to love, a love for amo and master or owner, okay, owner of a pet. The other, the other uh, example that I bring to you today is the the word sal, sal, sal in English is a spice. For example, don't add too much salt on my fish. In Spanish, no agregue mucha sal en mi pescado. Okay, so sal in, in Spanish would be the same spice, salt in English. Okay, but we have another sal. It's like the imperative form of the verb to go outside. And the, the example that I um, have for you is sal un momento, quiero hablar contigo, o quiero decirte algo. In, in English, go outside or let's go outside, I want to tell you something. Okay? So we have sal, sal for the spice and sal to indicate an imperative form of the verb, go outside, okay? So, so we'll depend on the context. The other word is vino, vino. Uh, we have uh, wine, 
wine. Uh, este vino chileno es el mejor. This Chilean wine is the best. Uh, the other meaning is for past tense of verb to come. In Spanish, el vino anoche muy tarde. In English, he came late last night. The other word that the same, the same sound, the same form, written form, is lista, lista. Um, lista would be smart or intelligent or a woman or girl because it's feminine, it's for female, it's the gender is female, no uh, masculine. Masculine would be listo, okay? Remember the, the genre in, in Spanish. We have uh, this kind of difference between English and Spanish. And lista is for designing female, and listo is for designing uh, male, okay, the gender. Uh, the example would be, Sandra es muy lista. In English, Sandra is, is so smart. Okay, the other uh, meaning for lista would be record or index. Uh, for Spanish would be, esta es mi lista de cosas por hacer. In English would be, this is my list of things to do. Okay, so lista would be for, uh, to design a woman or, a designing, sorry, a woman or a girl. Um, that is, she is smart, she is uh, intelligent, she is brilliant. And on the other side, we have lista for uh, only a uh, list of things or maybe an index or record, okay? So we have two, two uh, meaning there. And the last uh, example for this group is the word vaya, is with, with V-A-Y-A is the first. Okay, vaya. Um, I'm sorry. Is this is for the other group because it's a, the the spelling is different. So we have for um for homographic uh, words words that sound alike um, and they are written in the same way, but their meaning we rely on the context. Uh, the other group is for homophonic works. So works that sound alike, but their spelling is different. Okay, their spelling is very, very different. Let's, let's begin with the first example. They were, they were a, a as a preposition, okay? A preposition in English would be to or at, okay? But in Spanish is a only the letter that's like the letter a in English. Okay, a. Okay, so we we have uh, some examples. The first is for Spanish. Me levanto a las siete de la mañana todos los días. For English would be I wake up at seven a.m. every day. Okay. So we have at for this, this case and the other for two. We went to the woods to camp for three days or we went to a wood for, uh, to camp for three days. And in Spanish would be fuimos a un bosque para acampar por tres días. Okay, so we have to or at is the equivalent for uh, the preposition I in Spanish and in, Eng in English would be to or, or at, okay? The, the other word that sound uh, alike but their spelling is very different is the word a. We have a only the letter a in English and the other is with the h in the beginning, h a. Okay, 
and we have uh, uh, the third person or the verb to have as an auxiliary uh, for past participle. I'm going to explain. For example, in English, my pe my cousin Peter has bought a new car. My cousin Peter has bought a new car. In Spanish, would be mi primo Peter ha comprado un carro nuevo, ¿ok? Entonces allí tenemos dos um, dos formas, ¿no? A, sorry, <laughs> I, I mix the English and Spanish. We have a for only a for preposition and h a for uh, the auxiliary verb for designing past participle, uh, has but, has come, uh, I have, I have done, okay? This is uh, in, in, in English, but in Spanish is, is the same. Uh, mi, mi primo Peter has, um, ha comprado un nuevo carro. Okay, the other word is I, I, and we have two, in, in, it's a pair of words. We have I with H in the beginning, and the other is I without the H at the beginning, only A Y, okay? Okay, let's see with H A Y, I. Say, says, um, uh, I is for designing there is or there are in English. But in Spanish, we don't have um, plural or singular, either uh, neither plural nor singular, okay? We have only I, two, plural, and singular. For example, in English, we have, uh, there are three books on my desk. Um, or, uh, yeah, and in, in Spanish, we have I, tres libros en mi escritorio. If I said in English, there is, there is one book on my desk, in Spanish is the same, hay un libro en mi escritorio. So we have no distinction in plural or singular, okay, for I. The other is I, is like an exclamation for a pain or surprise, okay, uh, for example, uh, I got scared in, in English, in Spanish would be I me asusté. It's like a, an exclamation, okay? And, uh, and the other uh, example would be I that hurts so bad. In Spanish would be eso duele mucho, I, okay? So I with without H at the beginning is for an exclamation for designing an exclamation, for surprise, or maybe to express some pain. But with H at the beginning, H A Y I is for there is or there are in in uh, English. Okay. Well, the other the other group that I would like to to show you. It's about uh, the accent, okay? The accent. Uh, I'm sorry, the, the, the last example is vaya. Vaya, we have two words. Vaya, V-A-L-L-A, -L -L and the other is V-A-Y-A. So, but the sound is the same, vaya. But the meanings is very different, okay? Uh, Vaya with V-A-L-L-A -L -L -A is for designing freeways acts. When you you are traveling through your country and you see some advertisement uh, of the of the road side and um, yeah the side of the road and you see it's a Vaya here in in, in Espanol. Esa Vaya es muy atractiva. This ad is very catching. Okay, and the other vaya is for for different uh, words is um, verse in English. D depends on of the intention of the, the speaker, and says, for example, espero que le vaya bien en español. Espero que le vaya with 
with Y. V A Y A. Um, would be I hope everything is good or I hope everything is is very good for him okay so it's different vaya with y uh, to the vaya with double double l okay v a l l a vaya three ways up or the other the subjunctive of some verbs um yeah the uh, spanish is a uh, kind of difficult in this part but I think that maybe the sounds are very easy, friendly, it's a friendly, friendly um, language. Uh, well, uh, the other has to do with the accents. For example, uh, if you said ira, it's not, it's not the same to express ira, okay? Because ira is related to anger. And Ira is the future tense for the verb to go. Eh, mi hermana irá al mercado. Okay? And the other is anger. Anger. The anger is not good for you, for your health. Okay? For example. Uh, the other is trabajo o trabajo. Uh, depends on the, on the accent. Okay? And uh, trabajo is like a job. Job. My my job is very good. I love my job. And the other trabajo is he worked so hard for his family, for example. Is the the verb the past tense of the verb work. Okay, work. Uh, but in past tense, he worked so hard for his family. Okay, let's practice if you like. Yeah. Remember, this video is going to be recorded here, and you can uh, enter uh, to our website and watch it again every every time you you wanna um, do it. And okay, let's let's practice, and you're going to to answer some some um, things, okay? Okay, the first practice has to do with the homo homographic words. Words that sound that sound uh, alike mm, and they are written the same way, alike, but their, um, their, their meaning, we rely on the context. Okay, the first. Uh, so you're going to say uh, the meaning, okay? For example, the first is for word sal. Says, la sal no es buena para la salud. So you're going to say the meaning. It's a word, it's a, it's the, the, it's a noun with the, with the meaning that I gave you before and you only write there, okay? Uh, the other, me gusta el vino español for the word uh, vino. So tell me, what is vino there? Is a verb? Is a noun? What's the meaning there? Okay. The other tengo is for is for the word list, uh, lista. Okay. Tengo una lista larga de estudiantes. Tell me what's the meaning for the word lista there? Okay, lista. Okay, so the, the first is la sal no es buena para la salud. The other, me gusta el vino español, the, the word wine. And the other, tengo una lista larga de estudiantes. So please tell me what do you think about, about it? Uh, what's the meaning that you infer through this, this sentence, okay? And the other, the other part of the practice is with uh, the meaning, um, but with um, homophonic words. So words that sound alike, but their spelling is very different. Okay, tell me the how do you spell and, and write the word haya in this sentence? John no haya las llaves de su casa. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I think I missed this sentence, this uh, example. Aja 
uh, is for uh, with double, double L, H A L L A, is to find the verb to find, and the other is with H A Y A, is the, the verb to have as an auxiliary. For example, um, espero que le haya ido bien, okay? I hope he has, or oh, espero que él haya hecho la tarea. I hope he has done his homework with, it would be H-A-Y-A, okay? But um, the other is the verb to find. Is it, That's the, the implication there, okay? Okay, so here, John, John no haya las llaves de su casa. Tell me, what do you think? Is is a verb or is is a, the verb to find the the um, the meaning to find or is um, a an auxiliary verb like a, for past participle? Okay, so tell me the, the meaning here. The other, I muchos estudiantes hoy. Tell me how do you spell and write the word I with a H or Without or with an H, tell me, okay? And the other is, mi consejo es que vaya temprano. Tell me if that vaya is 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 an advertise, advertisement or is a, a verb, tell me, tell me please, okay? Uh, well, I I think that's, that's all for today. Next Wednesday, uh, I will um, give a, a Spanish uh, class, the same class that I gave today in English. I hope to give, a, uh, give it in Spanish uh, next um, Wednesday. And well, so please participate and, uh, and tell me your answer and maybe share your your thoughts about this class and remember you can join to go talk to and and ask for your your free class your 30 minutes free class to to know and to learn more about uh, spanish which is a very important uh, language now nowadays you know for communicating with all over the world the people all over the world Okay, uh, thanks for, for watching me and and see you next next opportunity, next chance. Thanks. Bye.